Yep, you guessed it. I got 186,000 finally. Now, whether or not that's actually the true maximum of that, I don't know. If this game's any different from the first. But still, yep, it's now clear up to 64 compared to what it was beforehand, anyway. But this won't. He's still got another two more reincarnations in the store. More if I can still go above that 186. And still actually get more total bonus, but I'll find out eventually. All 64s. And boy, his accuracy really starting to suffer. But his weapon master is actually kind of bouncing out now, at least. It'll probably bounce around maybe 58, where it stops decreasing. Hmm. It should probably do you as well, again. It's about halfway there. bit lower on weapon mastery, but it's easy enough for this one to recover. Much easier than uh, somewhere else anyway, particularly this. Yeah, his stats have really gone down it's because of lack of weapon mastery. That's what effect it has. It's a huge effect. Uh, let's see. Yep. Except this time, instead of the usual 10 plays, I might actually go with something like 30 plays. Because I want to make sure I get to 68. However, if you remember from just a little bit ago, yeah, accuracy problems. But still, from the side, yeah, you unlearned the Omega heal and stuff, but that's easy enough to get back. <laughs> He's starting to not be able to one-hit them now. At least on that first hit, anyway. So he won't be that 468 that I'm familiar with. But even then, he still doesn't quite have enough accuracy, but at least he should be able to one-shot them. Doesn't have enough accuracy? Well, this one's got the highest possible speed that I've seen, anyway. And this is probably about the lowest I've seen. Quite a difference in the speeds. <coughs> That's partly what that wizard's for. And I have an extra safeguard. And if even that one didn't do it, I've still got other wizards that can definitely one-shot these things. But yep, now he's got enough accuracy so that... I can go from the front. So, now to get up to 2010 plays on this. Final play, again. Yeah, I decided to go for 50 instead of 30. Yeah, it's because I wanted to make absolutely sure that I was going to get it. That 68 total. I wasn't too confident with 30 because the level still looked a little on the low end. So I went with 50 instead. Just to make sure. Of course, since I've already sold this stuff, that I had in the earlier case. Well, and so do I get the 68 overall? In one way I want to find out. So I'm going to set them all to 68 to start with. Or at least I think it was 68. It might have been 69, but I'm not sure. It's been a while since I last did this, you know, so memory just isn't quite fully there. Wow, 16 extra? I guess I really overdid it. 
but as balanced as I can get, this way I can ensure that every single one of those stats is as good as they're gonna get. Now, it's time to address this weapon mastery and skill mastery and all that other stuff. There's actually an easy way to get that all the way up to 255. Pretty much first thing, even. Yeah, but then again, I should probably reincarnate you yet again. Pretty much now passing the halfway point. So, that concludes all the reincarnating that I'm going to be doing for a long time. Of course, I could get some of these ones. Like this one especially, since that's really high up there. Uh, let's see here. So, how do I get the weapon mastery up with great ease? Well, you might recall a remark on these rank 1 items and why I have them. Hmm, what does that have to do with it? Well, it's actually real easy. I'm going to make use of this particular item. Just make sure it doesn't have anything that really significantly boosts any of the offensive stats as much as possible, anyway. Marksman for accuracy really doesn't matter too much, but a low accuracy in this case will help. Uh, hmm, that's interesting. Kind of an interesting twist when you think about it. But what I need... I need, uh... At the very least, you need the Arms Master. That's an obvious must. I would strongly recommend having a mentor, if I can find it. Isn't it this? Yeah, okay, this one's got the mentor on it. No wonder. So, an Arms Master and a mentor. That's the very least you need. But one thing I very strongly recommend, especially if you're after skill mastery, uh, I gotta find you. Notice the big master on there? Use it. And put that on the weapon. That weak weapon. Get the mentor. <clears throat> Get the arms master. They don't the mentor and arms master do not have to go on the weapon. Just so you know. But the master does. Another thing that you'll also need, that I strongly recommend at least, yes, that's going to really weaken them, but there's actually a very, very good reason for doing that. Eh, uh, except this seems rather strange, but I cannot have anything that raises speed. HP is fine, defense is fine. Or at least, for in the case of uh, fists like this, you cannot have anything that raises speed. If you're using a gun, you can have attack all you want, but you cannot have hit. Uh, if you're using, um, well, staff, you don't want int. For uh, bows, you don't want attack or int. But you can have speed, res, and all that, all just fine. SP and HP are, um, well, pretty self-explanatory. So, I'm gonna have to temporarily replace those with something else. And what better way to get mastery going than, well, an orb. However, one thing, I actually already have an orb that's been leveled up, and you're not the only one. You got an even more powerful one, so this one raises int, but hey, fists do not use int. You're not after leveling up magic on him, or at least in my case I'm not, so yes, I can use that. I can keep the cosmos muscles, but every little bit of SP that I can get for Big Bang, the better. Now, notice the attack and speed? Look how low that is. Yeah, really low. Don't forget the hospital, of course. And since I'm otherwise prepared and just figure out what I'm losing out on, if anything... Nope, none of that I really even care for. Okay, what about in here? Century I could probably transfer, but it's not required. Of course, that I maxed a long time ago. <clears throat> Low accuracy can help too, of course, if all else. So, now time to save. 
Now, whatever you do, do not level up that character. Any level ups will only just make things worse. Make things harder, I should say. Which means, do not use anything like Blind, Omega Heal, and other such things. But for guaranteed quick skill mastery, Cave of Ordeal 1, really nice. Oh yes, real nice. And just so you know what I mean, yeah, this thing, it's level 1, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast Blind on an otherwise innocent looking pyramid. Guess what's going to happen to him? Uh, hmm. Okay, you leveled up. That's why you do not want to do that. Yeah, let's see. You can't go there because I'll blast the pyramid. Eh, I'll just use these wizards. So how does the uh, rank 1 item have anything to do with it? Well, that's actually pretty easy. I'll get to that whenever I clean out these. <clears throat> okay, in this case it's otherwise far enough. They never move off of there, so you can, you're otherwise fine there. You two I do not need. Of course, they could just endlessly cast blind and kill that one's weapon mastery accumulates, but that's not a necessity in my case. What is, is getting him over here. Now, you remember those really, really low stats, right? Well, compare the attack and speed against this thing's defense. That's a huge difference. Okay, now what happens when I attack, but, uh, horrible accuracy? Zeros. And this is going up real fast. All you gotta do is just endlessly attack this thing, and there you have it. But notice that he did not level up, or even gain any experience? Hmm. Pretty nifty trick, huh? So, let's see, that's, uh, 74 and a half, a little less. Yep, that's how fast it's going up. Mess, mess, don't care about that. In fact, I even want this to happen in the first place. But one thing that I would also recommend... Move this. This way is a little more weaker. Well, at least a little weaker yet. Of course, he was just temporary. So just keep this up for as long as you want, and I'll just get his weapon mastery up and just endlessly cast on that. Hmm, that's interesting. He didn't level up. But he still gained eggs. And of course, if you want to go for skill mastery, well, you know what that means. But I would recommend getting weapon mastery up first. Zeros. And another option you can actually do, just for reference, instead of using Big Bang on that pyramid, you can also use it on this thing. If this, if this description is any indication, fire invincibility. Hmm. Of course, that's up to you. If it misses, it still counts as weapon mastery anyway. Magic will not work for uh, non-staff users, so do take note of that. 
Now, one thing that you must note when you're otherwise going to think about finishing is, well, look at the bonuses. And what do you see but X? Do not get it. So if you want to clear the floor, if as if you want to save or you need to recover your SP again, guess what? All you basically need to do is put the character that you're trying to get the mastery up for in the base panel and do not drag him out yet again. That's all you really gotta do. And without a Dell on the uh, map, and getting that X. And you remember, you cannot level them up. Because otherwise it'll just make this a lot harder to do than it needs to be. It will take time, but hey, you can get level 99 skills in no time this way. Except for skills that require actual movement, if you know what I mean. But, keep the stats low and you're not going to have any problems. And yes, he's still level 1. This one isn't, though, because it attacked and defeated enemies, but that otherwise concludes this, and once I get Big Bang up to level 99, and uh, his weapon mastery to 255, then it's the mad dash for level 9999 for the very first time in this game, for me anyway. My thief is the closest, but 7400 is barely halfway there. Barely halfway there. Oh, it's almost 7,500. Huh. 